If you do want to learn a little bit more hands-on, I recently launched a personal mentorship program that is subscription-based where you can get one-on-one -on -one training from me and also have access to a self-guided program that will really teach you how to trade on your own. And that information is down below in the description box. I do also want to say thank you to all of my new and returning subscribers because the channel did experience a lot of growth in 2023 and even early in 2024. So I'm extremely grateful for all of the shares, all of the interaction, all of the comments, questions, and especially to all of the people who have decided to move forward and register for mentorship. So in today's quick video, I'm going to be showing you guys a very simple trick that you can use to set multiple take profits on one trade. Now, there are a few different ways that you could do this. And in this video, I'm going to show you two ways that I like to set my TP1, TP2, TP3s and beyond. So the app that I'm going to be using today is called MetaTrader 4. And this is what the trade screen looks like once you're actually in the MetaTrader 4 platform. So when you want to select a currency pair here, you just go down to the bottom and you choose the quotes screen. So for this example, I'm just simply going to use GBP USD. So I'm going to click on GBP USD and I'm going to click trade. And I'm actually going to be setting up a pending order for this trade. Um, and we're going to see if we are able to do that. So we're going to select buy limit if you need more information on how and why to choose different market orders. I do have a separate video on that that you can view here. So the price that I'm going to use for my buy limit is going to be 127.400. I'm going to set my stop loss 40 pips below that. So my stop loss is going to be at 127. Zero, zero, zero. Because when you're calculating pips or Forex, you always don't count the last digit. Um, so since this is a buy, my stop loss is going to be um, below my entry. And then I'm going to set my TP1 40 pips above where my price is. So that's going to be 1.27800. Then I'm going to go ahead and click. Oh, actually, let me do 30 pips. I'll do 127700. And then I'm going to go ahead and click place. So now my pending order is set. I can see where my stop loss is. And I can also see that I have a TP set at 1.27700. Right? So my TP1 is 30 pips. Now, if I wanted to set a TP2, there are two ways that I can do this. And the first way is to simply just enter the trade again, but changing where the TP is. So again, I'm going to click GBP USD. I'm going to click trade. I'm going to set another pending order. Everything about this trade is going to be the same except for where I set my take profit. So it's going to be 127400 is going to be my entry price. 127000 is still going to be my stop loss. But this time, instead of doing a 30 pip TP, I'm going to do a 40 pip TP. And it'll be 127800. And then I'll click place. So now I can see... My first trade has a TP of 1.27700, and my second trade has a TP of 1.27800. So I have a TP1 and a TP2. So after my TP1 is hit, my first trade is going to close out, and the second trade is actually going to continue to go until that second TP is reached. So not only did I secure profits in a trade that was going in my favor, but I also stayed in the trade to collect more pips because it kept going in my favor. So that's the first way that you can set two different TPs on a trade. Now, the next way I'm going to show you is pretty similar, 
we are going to be utilizing pending orders again, but we're going to do a little bit different. And I really hope I don't lose you. If you need to watch this video again, just make sure you do that. So the second way that you could set a TP2, we're, we're going to keep our first trade at 1.27700. That's still going to be our TP1, right? So that's our initial trade. So this time for my TP2, I'm still going to have to set an additional trade, but I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to go to GBP USD. I'm going to click trade. And this time I'm going to do a buy stop. Now, again, if you do need help understanding the difference between a buy limit or a buy stop, I do have videos on that, but hopefully you'll have a better understanding after this video. So with my TP2, for the second trade, this is how we're going to set it up. My entry price is going to be 1.27700. Now, remember, this is TP1 for the first trade. So once that, and I'm going to change this to a buy stop. A buy limit means price is going to go down before it continues to go up. A buy stop means price is going to climb and then it's going to continue to climb. So for my second trade, I'm going to set my entry price where my TP1 was. 1.27700. I'm going to set my stop loss about 40 pips below this, which is 1.274. Three, 1.27300 and then I'm going to set my take profit let's just say at 1.27900 which is 20 pips above then I'm going to click place so what we have here is our initial trade at 1.27400 and we have our take profit at 1.27700. Now, in order for our TP to work in the second case, once TP1 is hit, our second trade is actually going to be triggered because our entry price for our second trade is the TP of the first trade, right? And then, of course, if this is a buy, our TP2 will be set above that. In this case, our TP2 is 1.27900. So those are two ways that you can set additional TPs for your trades. This is what I like to do. I do like to either enter the trade multiple times initially and set two different TPs. I like to utilize my pending orders so that once a TP is hit, another trade is triggered, allowing me to secure my profits and stay in the trade. And then there's another way, which is called trailing your stop loss where you're modifying the trade as it's going, but I will have to show you guys that in an active trade. So I really hope that this was helpful. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And again, if you would like to register for personal mentorship to work with me directly and to join a self a self-guided structured learning community of traders, you can register and that information is down below in the description box. So I really hope that this was helpful. Until next time, rich friends.